In this video, we are going to focus on how to find the four quantum numbers um, given the element or if we're focused on the last valence electron of the element. The last valence electron of fluorine is the 2p5 electron. And that's where fluorine ends at, 2p5. And so we want to find out, you know, what are the values of n, l, ml, and ms? Well, n is 2. It's based on this value. Now, l, it's based on the letter p. For s, l is 0. For p, l is 1. For d, l is 2. And for the f subshell, l is 3. So therefore, l is 1. Whenever L is 1, you know, ML can be these three values, negative 1, 0, or 1. When L is 0, ML can be 0. When L is 2, ML can be these five values. When L is 3, ML can be seven possible values. The values for ML corresponds to the orbitals of, you know, the sublevel. S only has one orbital because S can hold up to two electrons. Every orbital holds a maximum of two electrons. Um, P has three sublevels. D has five. F has uh, seven. And each of these ML values corresponds to a certain orbital. So since L is one, ML can be three values. It can be negative one, zero, or one. Now we're dealing with the fifth electron, the 2p5 electron. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the electron we'll focus on. So that electron landed in the 0 orbital for ML. So therefore, ML is equal to 0. Now, MS, the electron spin, because the arrow is facing downward, um, it's going to be negative 1 half. So those are the four quantum numbers for the fluorine atom, the last electron in the fluorine atom, the 2p5 electron. All right, let's try another example. So let's say if we want to find the four um, quantum numbers for iron, the last electron for iron, which is the 3d6 electron. Well, we know n is 3 because, you know, that number. It's in the third energy level. For the d sublevel, we know L is 2. Remember, for s it's 0, for p is 1, for d it's 2, for f is 3. Now, the D sublevel has five orbitals, and ML can be, it can vary between negative two and two. It's based on this number. ML is at, it's always between the value of negative L and L. Now we have the six electron, we're focused on the six electron in the 3D sublevel. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So the six electron, it landed in the orbital where, you know, that had a value of negative 2. And the last electron number or quantum number is the spin. And because it's a down arrow, it's negative 1 half. All right, for the sake of practice, let's try one more example. Let's focus on the, the 4, 5 electron. Well, we know n is 4. L is 3 for the F sublevel, you know. It's 0 for S, 1 for P, 2 for D, 3 for F. And the F sublevel has uh, 7 orbitals, which, based on this number, it varies between negative 3 and 3. Now we'll focus on the fifth electron. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The fifth electron, it landed in the, uh, the orbital that has a value of 1. And because the arrow is an up arrow. The spin is positive one half. And that's what you need to do if, um, to find the four quantum numbers of any electron within an element.